Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. Not sure when you're going to see this video because our Wi-Fi and cell data has been intermittent uh, because of the snow and ice. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about a little experiment I tried. Uh, I purchased a week or so ago a case of 2019 Topps Hobby Sets. These are the sets that have the foil boards in them. And I got this from blowout.com. Uh, so... My thinking in purchasing this set, it's, I mean, it, it was up there in prices, about $1,700. But because it was in the case format and the, it's like a double box, you know, protection, uh, and the set, some of the inner sets were protected by the outer sets, I thought I had a better chance of pulling some nice Tatis rookies and maybe a good foil board uh, out of this hobby set case. So in the case, there were 12 sets and five hobby five full board cards per set a pack of five so 60 full boards in the case there were really nine cards i wanted to chase in the full board set those were the big four rookies of uh, tatis vladdy jr alonzo eloy then you had trout soto uh acuna and i even put otani in there and then maybe like kyle tucker so nine guys and then you had some like other rookies that you could chase too like Brandon Lau, or maybe a, uh, I don't know, there's a couple others, I'm sure. But um, so I had a decent chance of hitting one of those guys. I had about a 77, 78% chance of hitting one of those guys, and then a you 40% know, chance of hitting two of them, and then 20% chance of hitting three of them, and so on and so forth. Um, I didn't hit any of them. <laughs> so, but I'm going to show you the, the good foil boards, the best foil boards, the four best that I hit, as well as the base cards of the big four rookies that I think will probably gem. Uh, so of the full board cards, you hear my daughter in the background, are with no uh, cell or internet, she's she's kind of bored right now. I got the Michael Kopech rookie, uh, probably the best full board of the bunch. Got a Bryce Wilson rookie, which might be lower tiered, but I don't know. He's There's a lot of speculation around him. A Bryce Harper and a Cody Bellinger. So nothing huge out of the foil boards, was hoping for at least a, a decent rookie, but the Vladdy Jr. Uh, is the, in, that are in the hobby sets, are in the complete sets, are the complete set versions, the variations, uh, and it's the very last card in the set, so it bumps up against the pack of foil boards. So because of that, it's very condition sensitive, and I only got two that I felt would grade, possibly grade a 10. Uh, not bad. The Eloys did a little bit better, Pulled four of those. Four of the 12, I felt like, have a possibility at a 10. The Alonzos did better than the Eloys. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Alonzos. So, I'm not sure how these cards are going to fare. What I'm going to do with these cards is, uh, I don't want to send them off right now because they'll come back during the offseason, probably like around Thanksgiving. And there's just no point in getting them back around that time frame. So I'll probably hold these for a couple of months, send them off maybe in the June time frame, and actually see who is doing well during the season, uh, who is worth sending off. Because there might be another player or two from the 2019. I'll probably pull out the Sotos. I'll probably send the Sotos. Uh, but if another rookie in there is having a good start to the season, I might pull them out and try to send them off too. And then the Tatis, the big card, Actually did really well. Same as Alonzo, I think. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, I think, will grade a 10. So at today's market values, uh, I did fairly well. These sell in a 10 for like 225, 250. I'm sure they'll rise right before spring training or right before the season starts. Um, you know, if they hold a 250 value for the next year, going into next season, which is when I would probably sell most of these. I mean, just out of the Tatises, I've made my money back. So that's well, 250 times, I'm not going to work it out, but $1,800, $2,000 minimally. Uh, so that pays for the case. And then I've got the the Alonzos, the Eloys, the two Laddies, who I hope has a better season than they did last year. And then the full boards. And then I've got all the other rookies. And I'm hoping that minimally four or five of each card in there with Jim. Uh, kind of hit low on the Eloys and the Vladdies. I, I expected the Vladimir Jr. To, to be a little low given its place in the set. But overall, very satisfied with the uh, the results of that little experiment. I will get these off in a couple of months. I've got a lot of cards. Actually, 
I kind of have a regret that I didn't. I have probably two or 300 cards that I've picked out for grading that I, I picked out like four or five months ago that I just never got around to sending off in a bulk order. Kind of regret that now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have orders start going out to PSA probably in the next two to three months, try to get those back before the 2022 season. Uh, but very happy with the results. Eight Tatis, possible tens. Very excited about that. All right, folks, hope you have a great day. Hope you're staying warm. I will see you soon. Bye.